Parting tool sticking out about two inches from the holder. We are running at about, let's see, low gear. We're running about 82 RPM. Okay, and our feed is on B, C, G, let's see, B, C, G, H, oh, I'm sorry, wrong one, B, C, G, number six, number six, B, C, G, number six, so about one, a little over a thou per revolution, right there, six, B, so 82 RPM by a little over a thou depth of cut per revolution. As you can see, it's making a little bit of noise, but it's, uh, it's normal. I got a piece of 17.4 here, four inch diameter. I'm using just some really old, nasty cutting fluid that's in the uh, tank of this machine. Really, it's just a bunch of mixed waste oil it seems to be doing the job carbide tip insert on a can of metal style but who knows what the hell it is now type of blade it sounds pretty nice you can see the chip coming up there pretty pretty good and uh, I did say 17.4 H900 heat treated to uh, H900 condition, which is approximately a little over 30 RC. I just drop my oil down here, so you can kind of see what kind of oil we're dealing with. I'm gonna reach under here. Not a good idea for any of you uh, newbies. You know, there's a brush somewhere. It's down there, but I'm not going to get it out of there. Alright, so I'm going to take this, try to go as far as I can. It looks like I may be able to take the entire length of that blade. And I didn't pre-groove this at all. I just uh, cannonballed it right from the edge at that RPM and feed. And it cut pretty good. Made sure the x-axis was locked up so I wouldn't get any movement. Um, so yeah. And um, I'm gonna pause it for a second, come back when it gets towards the center. And we'll watch this thing hopefully just fall off in front of our eyes, like magic. So here's what the chips are looking like as they're coming off of here. Pretty nice cut, and that's not, it's not really a brand new insert, it just, you know, even an older insert would do an okay job, as long as your speeds and feeds are correct, and you just have to listen to it. When parting off, a lot of people have uh, this fear of snapping stuff off, and I know everybody's got a story of, uh, you know, breaking these blades off. I've done my share of blade replacement. But it's really all about listening to the machine and the way it cuts. And you'll know when that chip goes south. You'll, uh, you'll hear the scream and then total failure. And I haven't had that in a long time. And I want to knock on wood at this moment. So, looks like we're doing okay. And I'll be back in a second. So it looks like we got about three quarters, three quarter diameter in the middle there that we're still working on. And I kind of eyeballed center. Maybe I should have you know, indicated the, uh, the tool or set the tool up more to center. We'll find out in a second how uh, 
how close I am here. Um, if it's below, it's obviously going to ride under that, that center little uh, connecting point. And if it's too high, it's, it's just going to sound funny as it tries to push this entire slug off of here. Yeah, it looks like I have my length of my tool set pretty close to what it should be to get this to go right to center. And I'm just waiting for this thing to drop. Sorry for making you watch every dull second of this last pass, but this is the uh, kind of like the moment of uh, victory here if this works right. Come on. should be there. Now if I did set this too low then it's possible that it's going under. And it won't be that far off. And I can just grab the end of this thing and kind of twist it or or just hammer it. You know, just knock it off. It shouldn't be a big deal to, to get that last bit off of there. Um, it still sounds really good for what it's doing. We still got the cord, huh? the cord I can tell on the blade we still got you know, maybe maybe rubbing now. So it looks like we are. Oh, hey, look at that. Boy, I set that pretty good, didn't I? So there we go. A little bit there, you know. It looks like uh, we did okay. That's a lot of material to remove off of uh, the cutting tool, but looks like it turned out all right. Now I can take this part up to the CNC lathe, do some quick facing, and uh, finish this part off. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.